So you believe that the shooting was gang related? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. An El Paso family is torn apart after finding out that their son was fatally shot in Pecos County this past weekend. Sheriff's officials are continuing their investigations tonight after a man's body was found dead in a trailer. Now, family members are saying they believe it was all gang related. CBS 7's Lauren Lamon joins us now. Lauren, why are family members saying this? Jay Tatum, the story from the family is that 29-year-old Luis Enriquez was affiliated with a g gang while living in El Paso. Looking for safety, Luis moved east to live in Monahans, then later to Fort Stockton, where they believed gang members followed him and killed him. Uh, with that much blood and stuff, there was something, something wasn't right. So. On Saturday, Pecos County deputies were dispatched here to a trailer located off Gonzales Loop, just behind Alamo Elementary. They uh, looked at the the uh, subject and stuff and determined that, that uh, there were some suspicious circumstances behind his death. At 29 years old, El Paso native Luis Enriquez was shot and killed in a trailer home he was renting. Luis's mother says he moved to the area to find safety and escape a past that seemed to not let go. He was with the gang members here in El Paso County. It's a gang that was formed in the late 80s in the jails of El Paso, a loyal gang said to routinely murder civilians to ensure loyalty of their members. Luis's ex-girlfriend said once away from El Paso, Luis began acting paranoid, saying when he moved from El Paso, that's when he was just a way different person. The last time I saw him, he told me that he had to carry a gun with him all the time to protect us and his family. Hopefully this is just a, an isolated incident that went some, some deal that went bad or whatever. The investigation, of course, continues, and as you can tell in that video, Pecos County has help from not only Texas Rangers, but the Odessa Mobile Crime Lab as well. Currently, his body is in Lubbock for an autopsy, and officials are following all leads. Live in the studio, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS 7 News.